Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Ankit Bharia and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to talk about the 8 pro gimbal tips for the beginners and today I'm using these two gimbals. This one is Webuild 3S and this one is Crane M3S. Both the gimbal can handle Sony A7S III camera but this can handle all the lenses and this Crane M3S can handle only lightweight lenses. So let's say you're shooting with not the heavier lenses then I think you should go with this gimbal but if for the heavier lenses this is one for you so i'll be using both the gimbals throughout the video now let's quickly start it okay so the first tip is balancing the gimbal now this is the most important thing once you get the gimbal the first thing that you should do is to learn how to balance the gimbal if your gimbal is not balanced then let's say if you turn on the gimbal it will get overload and you will not get stable footage so what do i mean by balancing the gimbal it means like once you turn off this gimbal let's let me turn off this one then your gimbal should stay as it is like if I keep the camera like this it should stay like this see now we can say that this gimbal is balanced so now we can turn it on and you will get the most stable footage now if you want to see how to balance the gimbal then there are a lot of videos and it's pretty easy to balance it with any gimbal let's say if you learn with one gimbal you will know with all the gimbals so i'll mention the few links in the description you can go and check it out how to balance the gimbal now let's move on to the next tip okay now the second tip is learning the basic camera movements now you know how to balance the gimbal and everything is set. Now the next step is to start using the gimbal. So first you should start with just the basic camera ones. For example, moving forward, moving backward, taking the pan shot, taking the orbit shot, taking the revealing shot, maybe lower angle shots. Like these are all the pretty simple shots. So I've made a couple of videos in which I've explained in detail about these shots. So just go to the link in the description for this. Now let's move on to the next one. So the next tip I think you might not know is the ninja walk. As the name suggests, you know, you have to walk like a ninja. So basically it's pretty easy. You like uh, just bend your knee and heel to toe. That's how you walk like this. So basically if you're walking like this you will still get stable footage but if you want to remove the extra jitters then you should start walking like this you'll get very smooth footage and you know that's the difference between amateur and professional like when an amateur starts you'll just take the shots like this simply walking but once you become professional then you will be extra careful while taking the shots like like this now let's move on to the next tip. Okay, the next tip is use different lenses to shoot the same location. You know, the best part about the gimbal is you can get stable footage with any lenses. Like whether you're using wide angle, zoom lens, you'll get the stable footage all the time. When you use shooting handheld, it's very difficult to get the stable footage with zoom lenses. You know, it gives a different perspective to the same video. Like you can cover and you can show the location in a different way. For example, if I'm standing here, we are shooting it, which we're shooting with two different uh, lenses like one we are using 85 mm and here we are using 24 mm and you will see the difference with both the lenses you know when you will do the match cut with the different lenses your video will look much better and it will help creating and telling a better story okay the next tip is use the different features of the gimbal for example i'm using vbull 3s and the best feature about this gimbal is you can shoot in both vertical and horizontal mode like you don't need any extra plate to switch it it has inbuilt plate and it becomes so easy. I love it. If you're shooting for reels, switch it to vertical mode. If you're shooting for YouTube, switch it to horizontal mode. Also, there are different modes like you can shoot in pan follow mode, follow mode, lock mode, POV mode and vortex mode. All these modes gives you, you know, flexibility to shoot in a different style. So definitely go ahead and try this. Now let's move on to the next. Tip. So the next tip is consistent movement. Now when you're taking a shot, be consistent with the movement. For example, if I'm taking a follow forward shot and if I'm walking very fast and suddenly I slow it down, then the shot is not going to look that good until and unless you're doing it intentionally, just try to be consistent with the shot. If I'm taking a pan shot, I'll just walk like this and I'll be consistent until the shot ends. So yeah. That's one of the pro tip. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, now the last and the seventh tip is try taking longer shots. Like if you're walking straight, then after taking the shot, then just switch it like this. 
just take the shot in this direction as well and then take the shot in this direction as well so when you will combine later in the editing then it will look really really nice and you know when you're shooting run and gun on the travel you don't have much time so you can't just take one kind of shots just take multiple different kind of shots and just see whatever looks best in the editing use those kind of shots so yeah that's all from this video and one more thing i'll talk about the bonus tip as well so let's talk about that okay so the next tip is using these kind of lights with the gimbal shots like think of it you are at such a location and you don't need any electricity to use these kind of lights like you can charge either with the power bank or this already comes with the power bank there are two models of zayun this one is 60w and this one is smallest x100 and this is so portable like you can just carry it anywhere and when you are in such a low light condition this could be really really helpful so with that said i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it then please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for future videos and let me know in the comments below if you know want to know anything more and with that said i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye thank you from this beautiful location <laughs>